So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck. And thanks again. Wow. Oh, where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just blew my mind. something, so uh, this seems to be the best part for quite entry. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. Rest here in the cabin in the meantime. Look, you can climb aboard there. I'll distract them. You get to up. I need to fight for them to pass.
Remember when? Huh? Say what? Hey, did you just see that? Wait, wait, I think I saw something. I could catch a little shut eye. Even an hour would do. Ah, 
Seriously, what's the general idea of even having us here? They want more losses? Or what? making all the fun assignments. There are narrow spaces between the cargo. Squeeze through them. If you have a minute of replacements... There's a float between the barges. Climb overboard. Uh, you can't eat all the fish. Anyway, move along and quit scaring the fish away with your bullshit. It's high time it started biting. All right, eat all you want. Quit scaring the fish. <laughs> <sighs> no, whoa, 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 don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. He's gone now. Move so on. how long are we going to keep sitting on our thumbs here? Well, Mikhailich is working on it. The generator shuts off all the time now. That's because you should have picked up normal spark plugs, not the shit you got. It sure would have saved us a lot of trouble. Well, they aren't so bad. Look how long they lasted. And Ahmed wanted two more clips for the new guys, so... And anyway, what's your problem? Are you in a hurry? This place gives me the creeps. That monster in the river? This shit is too much! Where the hell is that? Shit! Shit! You've been spotted! Open Take fire. this, you He's fucking rat! I see the enemy! Behind those sandbags! <laughs> Take this! and quit scaring the fish away with your bullshit. It's high time it started biting. All right, eat all you want. Quit scaring the fish. <laughs> This is stupid. Standing here like a fool. So how long are we going to keep sitting on our thumbs here? Well, Mikhailich is working on it. The generator shuts off all the time. And that's because you should have picked up normal spark plugs, not the shit you got. It sure would have saved us a lot of trouble. Well, they aren't so bad. Look how long they lasted. And Ahmed wanted two more clips for the new guys, so... And anyway, what's your problem? Are you in a hurry? This place gives me the creeps. Oh, that monster in the river? This just... shit is too much! Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame you aren't in Chiboxari. What is that? 
<laughs> One of those monsters sunk a barge. Now that's bullshit. Tell that to Sergei when you see him. He and the boys wanted to catch it. How? Well, the usual way. Got a boat anchor, put a roasted dog on it, tied the rope to a bollard, and then they waited. So, what happened? The oh, idiot yeah, that join the army. It did so Step. well, it hey, pulled the bollard that? off the barge, along with half of its side. So it sunk on the spot. What? Wow! Like, wow! Ah, bullshit. What's happen next? Well, they swam ashore. By the time they got out of the water, two of Sergei's friends had been eaten. Oh, I don't know if I can be just open anymore. Sure, nothing no. happening is better than getting killed. Oh, shit. And why, pray tell, is Sergei all gray, even though he's just turned 40? Huh? huh? What is that? Fuck! Oh, it's you! <laughs> Dude, what's looking right at you? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! We don't need your goods! Your tugboat, on the other hand! You can collect it at the bridge if you play your cards right! You got me? Uh, yes, of course! Order your people to stand down and nobody gets hurt! At once! Hey, listen up, people! This is your skipper! Stand down and surrender at once! He did the right thing. It's nice to talk to a smart guy for a change. Now go! <laughs> Great job, Atul. Atul, all of our guys are fine. You did great. So? You guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not, we have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, weigh anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, you're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, believe. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. You are sure? Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailors! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jackass, Bonnet. So, Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first we wins! Break a leg! Oh, 
Captured by heathens, but a heretic. One of the new ones freed the How? <laughs> Simon just got called feet, that's all. All the stories people tell me <laughs> go. No, he not. He came back and made a huge fuss at the church and got his way too. Now we will be praying for that heretic instead of Simon. You got that? Oh, God. For a heretic? It would please God, though. That's Simon. What next? No. He just made the sign of the cross, kiss the altar, cut and me off. Yes. And what's so nice over there on the other side? Uh, uh, Everyone is looking for a better line. Which is where? Where we are not. What's the point of explaining it to you? You just stand and look around when the heretics might be here already. Everywhere. Look around. Your eyes are young and shout if you see anything. Got that? Yes. Nothing. Wait, no, 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 no
shall we carry out the will of our Lord? And it is his retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. And all who stand before our gates shall scatter like dust to the wind. His will be done! His will be done! For he will devour them, body and soul. For one can change himself from gunpowder, but they this to be put an eternal plan upon the sinners. So let us call to the starfish! Come on, starfish! And even more so! Do you reach it? We'll never get past this starfish! So you got me the damned heretics! You took Katya, and now you have me! Damn, you are quicker too! Look, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! Hold your fire! You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots! Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop, or the bridge might collapse. You will have to jump. Duke here. Get We've reached an me. agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs>We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. For a king, I must say. And what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. 
Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Well, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Dokarev! Uncle Dokarev! <sighs> what would you like to ask? Oh, a smoke break! That's good. Uncle Dokarev, do you have a sewing machine? <sighs> oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. I mean, you, the Colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really, no, a child, but he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing. So much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those... Damn mutants. Hate them. Phew. No, you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratuha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? Well, of course, it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something awful. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you, that means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Well, Artyom, you seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit, I'll smoke some more. Have stuff to think about. Or just stay. <laughs> we have enough space now. No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? So you are back. What other plans does our leader have in store? Wait, don't tell me. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up.
Thank you, Stepan. I'm sorry to ask. I stopped you, already. <laughs> Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sini used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Oh, what did you expect? <laughs> hey, so, Artyom, the colonel was waiting for you on the bridge. Yeah. Tokarev was mad. Ah, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom, milling about below. <laughs> oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the vest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, 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 and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> well, you, Duke, are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artem did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself! Well, he basically solved the whole problem. Do that. Good job, Artyom. Talk with the Ark! All thanks to Tokarev. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? Uh, how do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a medical? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but... As you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great! Great! Yes, uh, we aren't a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading 
report you from Sector K6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? No? In just a moment, I have to check. Uh, K6 uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters in reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor. Thank you. Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation, Colonel? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Uh, well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. Oh, the minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we're heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris tell me the... We are approaching the Yamantau bunker. The final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. Railcar, what's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abundant, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh. Don't say that. Cover Colonel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on. Passengers, get inside and put it up tight. Yes, of course. Come on, Master. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? <laughs> Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A <laughs> wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We do that right now! Depart! You're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes sir! Great! Let's go! Used to have 
have three and 500 on stool. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. Look at all those cars. Fatiyan was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. This is a bad place. Now we should not come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Bye. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Nothing. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you?
am I? Where are the others? <laughs> Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense, now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking! Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... you're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not a single. So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you oh, right! Burn this town to ashes! So I don't even have dirty clothes remain! Now we'll be fought again! Good. Artyom! Here. Colonel, sir, I think that's Thank enough. You, sir. But it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna! I'm sorry, I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Can you stop the elevator? Get it! Elevator on the move! Sir. ETA, we get them in. Cover. Yes, sir. Well done! We can hold up for that long!
just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just freeze! Yes, yes! D Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex- Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damn fanatics. <sighs> but no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have got killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. was going to see me. Conceit <laughs> made me complacent. I even saluted those ghouls. Some fucking ark. These monsters have been made. <coughs> like the watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do I'll now? I'll be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs... All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <coughs> are you going to drag us to some other bunker I now? I don't know. We have to make the decision <laughs> together. Did you get everything you could, idiots? We're leaving! One moment, uh, I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out, it really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't?
in. I just wanted to finish the box so I could carry it back. I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <coughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites! What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then. <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out.